My next question was going to be who has kind of sat down and shocked you? Who has surprised you? Nadir Sabri. Uh, he's the first Arab to be in the NASA Hall of Fame. That if it wasn't for space technology, Times 5 would not have disrupted an industry that hasn't had innovation in 1400 years. So today we stand here very proud being part of the space program. Uh, with our friends at the Space Foundation, NASA, and friends and partners. It's the Hall of Fame, and yeah. that's crazy. It's crazy, <laughs> NASA, yeah, as well. And he's also a growth hacker. Uh -huh. So he does these growth hacks where he'll completely change people's businesses. Like, hacking disrupts the structure. Using growth hacking techniques that give you the agility with the balance of structure. Growth hacking applies not just to startups, yeah. but to companies, nonprofits, government, but also uh, organized crime. Like, and, and he'll talk to you and then you're like, how did I not think of that? Uh. But to him, you can see he's like Elon Musk, like he's talking to you, but you can see his brain working so fast. Wow. And you're just like, yeah, there's a lot going on in there. Ten trends out there that are transforming the world. But fundamentally, there are five exponential technologies that change almost everything around us. Each one of these technologies work to solving one single thing. So you need to step back and remind yourself, what is the big problem that these technologies are initially designed to solve? Yeah, like Today, we don't have a, the change officer, we have the, the change general. His name is Nader Sabri. Nader, welcome. When we start with a, a fresh page and we say, I don't know, the only thing left is experimentation. The ingenious part of this whole process, as simple as it might sound, your real growth is going to come from the unknown areas, places you never estimated, you never thought were possible. Um, I don't believe in a silver bullet and I don't believe in a single formula. Um, what works for me will not work for you and what will work for you will not work for me. But if I have a blueprint, which is a process that helps me find what works for me, then ideally that's my no, he, no, he was an FBI informant um, when he was 14 years old. Um, Long story short, I ended up becoming an, an FBI informant because I had a few tricks up my sleeve and I knew certain things about these guys and, and they underestimated. You know. Entrepreneurship, when you can talk about uh, uh, growth hacking, when you can talk about uh, YouTube shows, uh, FBI, NASA, and so many interesting <laughs> things. <laughs> Welcome. He started basically Canada Online, which was basically the internet service provider of Canada. Just set up one of the first internet providers, is that right? Yeah, 1994, when literally there was just a handful of domains that existed in the whole world, and the space was being highly defined at that point in time. World. And so, today I'm yeah. here sharing my dream with you and bringing space technology to others who have other dreams. And I encourage everybody to, to make those dreams happen because you never really know how far they'll go, because I promise you they will when you try.